What is up, Sussie Bay fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you this makeup tutorial. This makeup tutorial is actually inspired by Mel Castaneda. She created and I wanted to share with you guys a tutorial on how to create this look. She was inspired by Nikki Tutorial and Enzi. This was her look, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys should definitely should follow her. She is a bomb. And we also started reviewing Carity makeup today as well, which I'm super excited, you guys, because look at this palette. But let's get right into this video. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna start with a yellow shade, which is called Tweety, and it's super Super, super cute actually the day and I'm just gonna start digging that on to the inner crease right here okay so again I'm just applying that on the inner parts of the eyelid as you can see and of course you got to make sure you blend all that out so the application is really nice so far Next, I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Vegas, and it's like an orangey shade, and I'm gonna be applying that next. Again, we were still working on the crease, and I'm gonna continue blending that right next to the yellow, and I'm kind of like packing it on there, just so it can show up. Ooh, these are nice, and they feel really, really smooth, actually, you guys. There is no patchiness, and of course, it's gonna try to blend those edges a little bit. So far, you guys, so good. So I always do like to go back and reapply the first shade, like the yellow, just because I don't I don't I want it to be super super pigmented and I don't want anything to move and I also want everything to look super super blended next I'm just taking the shade NSFW Ooh, that is such a beautiful color so and I'm applying that on the outer parts and bringing it onto the crease as well Ooh, this shade I love so much you guys is so beautiful it's so pigmented like do you see all of that oh my goodness this is a gorgeous gorgeous shade everything is so good you guys so far so good you guys so I'm just going over the shades one more time just because I really want them to pop you guys know I love when my photos look exactly like my tutorials like I don't want to give you bullshit you know what I mean so as you guys can see for this side I use yellow orange and like red and then for this side, I'm gonna use yellow green blue and purples because it's gonna be like a rainbow so I'm starting with Tweety again the yellow shade and I'm gonna be applying this as the first shade and as you guys can see I love to pack this on so next I'm gonna go ahead and apply wicked which is the green shade on the palette you guys all of these shades are so beautifully pigmented oh my god and what I love the most is that these eyeshadows are so so easy to blend which I really really like because I feel like you guys will be wouldn't have any any problem creating this crazy dramatic looks that I like to do so I'm definitely obsessing working with this palette you guys right now like it's so bomb and now I'm gonna gra grab the blue shade which is called enchanted and again look how pigmented they are you guys so I'm just going to apply it on the crease and blend it out a bit I'm not worrying too much about blending in too much right now so now I'm gonna apply the last shade which is called Eagle and it's a purple shade. I'm gonna apply that right on the outer corner. Dude, look how pigmented they are. Oh my god. And you guys already know I like to go over over the color a few times just to make sure they not they're not moving or fading away from all the blending. That's what I'm doing now. And of course, you guys know that when you're doing too many colors, it requires a lot, a lot of blending. Not that bad, you guys. Like these are shadow blend so nice that I'm not having too much problems with it to sit here and blend for hours like they actually really really nice okay so now for the fun part is to cut the crease to create those little beautiful cloud looking like stuff so let's see you guys I'm gonna start cutting the crease I'm not gonna be able to breathe during this moment just because it's a lot of work right now so give me one second okay please remember you just have to create like a cloud like looking crease <laughs> not sure how I'm feeling about it but let's continue I think it's not that bad. So now from the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and take the the, the lightest shade, which is a white color, and it's called Keras. And I'm just going to be just setting that concealer with that shade. So I think you guys, the part that I went wrong with this is that I did it too low and it's supposed to be more like straight. Like I went in a round shape instead of going more like out and up. Anyways, the next part of this look is to create some stars basically. 
Okay, you guys, so the eyes are pretty much done. I, the lashes I'm using today is by Bold, Bold Face. But you go big or you go home, honey. So we're going big today. Okay, you guys, so my lashes are on. Absolutely obsessing over them. So now I'm going to go ahead and go on to the face before we finish the eyes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting with La Base Pro, which is a primer by Lancome. I'm going to be applying this all over my face. And using a brush, I'm just going to blend that into the skin. And I honestly think this primer works better when you apply it with your fingers. But right now, my fingers are full of like eyeshadow glitter for foundation today we're using the estee lauder double wear foundation and i use the shade 2w1 dawn and i'm applying the foundation with a sponge just because it's so thick it's so freaking heavy full coverage you guys is amazing for concealer i always like to use this revolution makeup concealer in the shade c7 and i'm just gonna apply a little bit over here and i also like to use their little fast base stick foundation stick and it's in the shade f17 and i like to use it just to kind of like contour as well my face because it's so round in fact so let's put her let's make her skinny now okay i think i apply too much you guys so first i like to blend out my contour with a sponge okay you guys so now i'm gonna use this is cosmetic your most your most beautiful you palette and i'm gonna be using the bronzer side of it just to bronze up the face just a little tiny bit more i really do you guys love a bronzing a bronzed up face i don't know why and this bronzer is just so so gorgeous okay you guys so next i'm taking this slick makeup palette which is a highlighting palette <laughs> just apply a little bit too much Next, you guys, I'm going to be applying a little bit of this Nomad. And it's just a highlighter, which looks like this. And we're back to our full eyeshadow palette. So the first shade I'm taking is Tweety, which is the yellow shade. And I'm going to be applying that on the inner parts. Next, I'm taking the shade Vegas. And I'm applying that right on the middle as well. Just mixing those colors, the same ones that I use on the crease. And then the last one is NSF. Just mixing all those together there. That, and I'm going to do the same thing, you guys, on this eye. With the first the green shade, then the blue shade, and the purple. Just like that. Let's go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara and it's called the lash impact it's so beautiful you guys look how pretty this is okay you guys so now for lips I'm anyway babes let me know what you think about this look if you guys enjoyed it if you guys liked it also the brand you guys i must say i love their palette i i have used both of the palettes as well if you guys follow me on instagram you probably saw that i did use their their rose all day palette and these are more like your soft pink mauve tones that you could wear every day they're super beautiful they're super bomb as well they're lipsticks anyways babes thank you so so much for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below how you like this tutorial before you go babes please don't forget to subscribe it helps out so 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 much and if you enjoyed makeup tutorial like this one very creative and very dramatic very colorful please go ahead and subscribe thumb up this video it helps out so so much you guys and i will truly truly appreciate it i'll see you in my next one